Hello everyone, my name is Arlen Eckstein and I'm the Marketing Coordinator at Willow Printing Group. Willow is a 58-year-old company who specializes in solving our clients' marketing needs. Today I'd like to tell you a few hints on how to start your 2011 season off with a bang by using my 10 years of camp experience. As you know, it's almost that time of year again. Soon all the little campers will be arriving with bright smiling faces and the fun will begin. So here's a checklist I've put together to help you prepare for the upcoming summer. Sunblock, bug repellent, marketing plan. Wait, you don't have a marketing plan for the summer? Marketing doesn't just happen in January when you're running around to all those camp fairs hoping to fill every spot for the season. The truth is, you should always be thinking about marketing, even if your sessions are filled up and you're creating a waiting list. The best companies in the world know that even during a race, you're preparing for the next one. Here's some ideas that I've put together that you can work on for the upcoming summer months. Ultimately, your goal is to create a unique and fun experience for your campers so that they remember your camp life even when they go home for the winter. Sort of like they're home away from home. You want them to talk about your camp from September to June to all of their friends. Facebook is a great way for your camp community to stay together and share their experiences. If you don't already have a Facebook page, you need to start one right now. Facebook is rated as the number two website according to Alexa.com. 55% of people aged 30 to 49 use Facebook, and of those, half of them are women. Why is this important, you might ask? Well, because women are really the decision makers for your future campers. The trick here is not to restrict the site, but to be an active part of it. You may get some bad apples saying some unfavorable things, but you can't censor them. In the end, it'll make you look worse than the actual comment itself. Instead, deal with the issue in a professional manner. Tell your side of the story, or better yet, encourage debate amongst other campers. You never know who's going to come to your rescue. During this summer, I want you to take pictures, lots and lots of pictures. I want you to catalog them with the name, the session, the event, etc. You never know when or how these will be able to be used. But here's an idea. Next year, why not create and send a postcard with the tagline, Hey Steve, we want you back! And send it to campers who have yet to sign up for the season. It's personal, it's special, and it shows that you're interested in the individual. It creates a greater sense of intimacy and if you have the pictures, it's truly that easy. Another great idea that you can use this year is a daily email blast. Send it to parents with pictures of their camper. You can craft a generic email, but replace the pictures to reflect their child. It's fun, and the parents will be thrilled to receive daily updates. Again, this campaign can run on its own with very little work on your part. The list goes on, but the main focus is always connecting with your client, the parent and the campers to create a unique and enjoyable experience that will fill up next year's camp faster than ever before. If you want to talk about this or any other marketing ideas, please drop me a line. This is Arlen Eckstein from Willow Printing Group. Thank you and have a wonderful day.